ओम शांति एवरी डे बाबा कॉल्स अस स्वादर्शन चक्रधारी He inspires us to spin the cycle of self-realization. Even today, this morning's Murli, Baba asked us to see, see the self. what we are with self respect what we are doing and what supposed to be doing in hindi the expression is swa darshan chak धारी वेन वी से स्व स्व मीन्स सेल्फ एंड दर्शन मीन्स टू सी द सेल्फ not only to see the self but to realize the self because seeing without being realization is completely different when there is self realization transformation takes place this is what baba is doing changing us from humans into deities from thorns to flowers into flowers from shells into diamonds from being worshipper into worship worthy and when we are worthy we claim the inheritance this is why baba asked today four things he asked to see in yourself and baba is also seeing it first thing he said ask yourself am i experiencing super sensuous joy this is a contrast the joy that i take from matter by being dependent on the objects or being dependent on human support or my own senses that brings temporary happiness because it is on this level and it is all these joys are perishable but super sensuous joy is on is based on soul consciousness and relationship with the supreme going beyond the senses 
Second thing he asked, see and check how fortunate you are. Hundred percent fortunate, multi-million times fortunate, unlimited times fortunate. So fortunate, but how much fortunate? What is the intoxication? What is the level of intoxication? See in yourself. The level of self-respect and intoxication. Self-awareness, self-respect, and then self-intoxication through realization. Third thing he asked, check and ask yourself and see what? How much have you become worthy to claim the inheritance? So this is the subject of dharana. How much worthy I have become to claim the inheritance? And fourth thing he asked about service. Are you doing the service to prepare the heirs? And so this is the aspect of the self. Where do I stand? What do I do? So seeing the Self, we are habitual of seeing ourselves for a long period of time. We are taught to be Self-centered. That is also Swayam, vision on the Self, focused on the Self. But here, in the spiritual aspect, is seeing the Self in my true Self. Swa means Self, and Self, seeing in body consciousness, myself, or seeing myself in soul consciousness. In order to see myself, is my third eye opened? Unless my third eye is open, I cannot see myself. So Baba opens my third eye, so to have the Self-realization, Swadarshan Chakradhari means the one with the third eye. Swadarshan Chakra. Swa, vision of myself. So means getting the vision opened. So Baba is eye specialist or eye surgeon. We were ignorant. We were, we could not see the reality. We could feel the suffering, experience suffering. Just like a blind person has the eyes, but does not have the power to see. Vision is not there. And so we did not have our vision, either the vision of the future or we could not see even the past. So when the third eye is opened, we are now able to see our past, present and future. 
past, present and future, when we spin this, it is called cycle. Swa Darshan Chakra. So, when the vision is opened, from ignorant we become knowledgeable. Knowledgeful. The knowledge is there, but then is the knowledge based on ignorance or knowledge based on divine vision? Vision is the divine intellect to see, to realize. Realization is when the intellect is divine. Otherwise, intellect is arrogant. Then I see myself in a different, with a different vision, and also see others with a different vision. And so, meaning of Swa Darshan, vision of myself, of present as a soul, and vision of the future as a deity in the temple where others come to have a vision, a darshan in the temple. So means worthy, pure, divine. Swa darshan. Or do I see myself as unworthy, impure, worshipper, downtrodden? With which vision we have been seeing? Though there has been realization, but without the vision, the true vision of the self, realization leads into depression. And with the knowledge, when the third eye is open, realization brings liberation. Eyesight becomes very bright. So seeing the self with the third eye, The difference between extrovertedness and introvertness. Seeing the self with subtlety, with a pure vision, so when I am making, I am becoming worthy and also doing service, as Baba said, say, today's class is based on today's Murli. So Baba said, make, are you making others waris, heirs, me serving others to go ahead? Now, seeing myself with self-respect, and also seeing others also with the same respect as worthy and worshipped, worthy to be worshipped. So just as we see ourselves in body conscious and soul conscious, realization, two different result, depression or liberation. In the same way when chakra Swa Darshan Chakra. Chakra means a cycle. Chakra has been also shown not only the cycle of time, in the hand of Vishnu, 
it's an ornament. As an ornament, as decoration, as beauty of the soul. Ornament, you cannot wear, go wear gold. <laughs> you cannot just put the diamond on your body. You need to make an ornament to wear. So realization means inculcation, means virtues. And so this cycle of Self-realization, when I am imbibing the virtues, becoming worthy, it can lead into arrogance, and it can also lead into humility, because now I see myself in which way a server or a detached observer. I am doing service, or I see Baba is doing service, using me. So, seeing the Self, I am doing service, or seeing the Self as Baba's instrument, How do I see? Seeing the Self as I, then this I, a body consciousness, brings ego. So I see myself, I am doing something. And where there is ego, there is false proud, false confidence, overconfidence. And this false ego, being very proud of being capable or clever, creates conflict. And this, because it is created conflict, the result is dissatisfaction. And this dissatisfaction takes away the happiness. So now look, result is when I'm seeing myself, there's no happiness, let alone super sense with joy. Baba is asking, see, if you have super sense with joy, I don't have even joy, I don't have even happiness. Even if the service is done, but there's no satisfaction, there's no happiness. Like the flower that was blossoming, service created happiness, blossom, but then it is, it's wilted. <laughs> and so now I need to take the spin, the cycle of realization, what has taken away my happiness, even I did have service with so much joy, so this realization then becomes a weapon. And this is why the cycle of self-realization is that Krishna spinning the cycle and cut the throat of devils, or Vishnu, or Goddess Durga, all the deities have this cycle of self-realization. As Baba said, Lakshmi and Narayan do not give happiness to anyone. But in order to receive that happiness, the cycle of Self-realization is a spin. And so it means seeing the beginning, the middle and the end, three aspects of time. Where, where did I go wrong? What is my present situation and what would be the consequence? So when this realization is there, the true realization is there, then I, the Self, 
is changed and then you see yourself as an instrument. Ego is changed into humility. You begin to see yourself as an instrument. And there is internal feeling, intoxication, instead of ego and false proud, is intoxication. Baba is using me. How great is my fortune. You see in Baba's hand. Because your vision is gone up, you cannot spin the cycle keeping the finger down. Twisted finger will not spin the cycle. It's only the straight finger can spin the cycle. So it is up. Whatever you receive, you go it up. And so our vision is it's Baba is making it do, and so there's not worry. The obstacles that came on the path of service are cut only through the cycle of the Self-Realization. So there we need this one, Swadarshan Chakra. When in service ego comes and you need to cut the throat of this eye of ignorance, So Baba is Karan Karavanhar, and I'm so fortunate that Baba selected me or using me as an instrument. And so there is certainty, there is guarantee, success will take place. And so I am a carefree king. So I see myself as a carefree king, future king, Inheritance and kingdom is the later, but you see yourself in the present as a carefree king, godly prince, humble server, instrument of God. And so then you begin to see others, thinking about others, how great I am, that you see the specialities of others, and the vision becomes that as, so divine vision, so then it support, not only just you are seeing vision of yourself, you are seeing the vision of others as well, as they are being created as heirs, because then you are looking to give them kingdom. Heir means <laughs> that you are happy to give them inheritance, claiming from Baba and giving to others. So the cycle of Swa Darshan Chakra, so seeing myself at the confluence age, seated on the heart throne of Baba. The kingdom can be received only when it's a pure heart. As Baba said today, Just visualize, see your vision, have your vision as you are seated under the Kalpa tree, connected with the seed. And doing tapasya, through that you are able to fulfill the desires of everyone. So this is the vision of the Self, as the ancestors of the All, 
supporting the whole tree, fulfilling the visions of others. And so this vision creates again the thoughts in the mind. So you start spinning the thoughts and checking the self. So vision is now checking as well that is there any desire filled in when I am, Baba is making me instrument to fulfill the desires of others. Because the desire is also disease. That is big obstacle as well. So, so am I seeing myself as selfless server? So when there is this renunciation of I, only then I can see myself. So this on one side is renunciation, other side is gate achievement. So it is the benefit is that the negative thoughts and waste thoughts, the throat of waste thoughts, <laughs> can cut away instantly by spinning. So it is on one side is churning, the first step is churning and checking. And seeing myself in the cycle, throughout the whole day we also pass through the whole drama of the stages. Where do I stay longer time? Do I enjoy more golden age? Or I am stuck in the iron age? Am I in the stage of a fighter? Warrior? Or am I in the stage of worthy to be worshipped? Or worthy child of Baba? So this is spinning can be with different titles that Baba gives. So when I am spinning the cycle of the knower of the three aspects of time, in that drama, what role I play? What is the present role? What would be my future role? So when the soul is able to see this is happening, the cycle, sees itself as a hero actor. So hero, am I Hero and Hira, a Hira means diamond and Hero means hero actor, the one who has the power to face everything, the one who has the power to destroy the obstacles, the one who has the power to emerge all the hidden potential. And so seeing myself this, can I overcome my own desires because I cannot fulfill the desires of others without becoming free from desires of my own. Because in service there are many different kinds of desires there. When you become worthy, virtues also create desires on one side, unless it becomes a weapon. Otherwise it is virtuous also, I am worthy, wrong intoxication can be, why I am not being consulted? Desires in different way. Why my service is not accepted? 
I am also capable. Nobody asked my advice. <laughs> Nobody gives me respect. No one accepts me. No one appreciates what I do. So these are also subtle desires, no? And so seeing the Self, am I a beggar or am I a donor? When I am a beggar, I cannot maintain Self-respect. And so vision of the Self is realization again. Where am I? I am in the Iron Age or I am in the Copper Age? Or I am in the Confluence Age, or I am in the Golden Age. This is the cycle of Self-realization. Even the subtle desires will make me beggar, because I want something that somebody should give me. And so when I am a donor, I am giving the, the power, no, I am giving the respect, I am giving the position. And so here it is, cannot be, realization brings renunciation automatically. As it brings transformation, it also brings realization. So, vision of the Self. I am a donor. Brings intoxication as well, because I am world benefactor. So, every title that Baba gives, comparing myself, am I staying in this consciousness or going away from that? So, the different methods of... So, significance is that whatever Baba has title, Baba has given, it's very important and I experience it, I practice it and experience that. Then this realization, that spinning, will become a weapon. So, any negative situation that I can face, I can overcome difficulties, so, destroyer of obstacles, by spinning the cycle. Its Self-realization makes us tapasvi. Yogi. Then, the fourth word is, Means it is Swa, Darshan, Chakra, and Dhari. The fourth word is more, the significance comes when I am maintaining this stage. Dhari means holder, the one who holds. Okay, I have this Swadarshan Chakra there, but I do not hold and I do not spin. You have the grinder. But you do not grind, and you are working hard to think, make the things with your own hand. <laughs> so it means it's a spinning, it's working, it's an action. So it is knowing the Self, experiencing the Self, and being the Self. Then others are seeing. And this is what it is, as Baba said today, that your features will reveal the features of others. So, darshan, so when I am holding the cycle of the Self-realization and spinning the cycle of the Self-realization, transformation is taking place and intoxication is there, what others are seeing? They are seeing the future and Features of, Baba spoke about angels, farishta. Mm -hmm. 
and then it is not only my own negativity is cut off, those features of my self-realization and self-respect then is enabling that because now it is a weapon, this chakra, that it is helping others to liberate them from their sorrow, from their peacelessness, from their suffering. And so significance is to become free from obstacles. It's a conqueror, because this is what it is. It is on one side is ornament, means I'm embodiment of this, and other side I'm inculcating those qualities. Means when I mean when I have inculcated, then it has become a power. So it's a weapon. Means the embodiment. So instead of seeing myself in body consciousness, which is, I am seeing weaknesses of myself, and I'm that through that I am seeing weaknesses of others, so my Swachintan becomes Parachintan. I start thinking about others. Swadarshan, instead of checking myself, I become Pardarshan, I am seeing what others are doing, what others are saying. And there, so it becomes quicker, quick, instead of Crooked it becomes instead of straight up, what Baba is making me, what others are doing. And so it is instead of uplifting myself, when I am spinning the cycle of the self-realization, it's the upliftment. It's a lift of upliftment. And when I see and think about others, what others are doing, it is in, I'm seeing myself in body consciousness, that's also vision, I fall in the ditch. So seeing, thinking and seeing about others, we fall in the ditch. Thinking in true self, in my self-respect, and holding this cycle of self-realization, we sit in the lift of upliftment. And Baba takes us into the land of silence. So there it is just like the soul is able to see the self in the seed stage, as a real vision of myself. So Swadarshan Chakra, do I see myself as a Brahmin? What are the qualities of myself as a Brahmin? So purity. So then seeing is a purity of thought, purity of word, purity of action, purity of vision, purity of attitude, this is then spinning. Vision and then visualizing and at the same time checking. So one side it is becoming a virtue, a ornament, other side that is becoming a weapon. So am I Brahmin? So when I'm using a Brahm weapon, so I'm cutting all my sanskaras or weaknesses of a Shudra. So I'm using it, more I imbibe the virtues of a Brahmin, the more this becomes a weapon to cut the weaknesses of Shudra sanskaras. And so this realization, how much I sit on the seat, or asana, Baba used to say, just like a mat of soul consciousness, or the seat of a lotus. Performing righteous actions, elevated actions. This is seeing the self, because that this, when I see my, my actions, then automatically others will see as a divine action. So they see my deity form when I am performing divine action. So it's a giving vision or inspirations. And so am I Brahmin? So what, I was spinning the cycle of a Brahmin and seeing myself 
a pure being, a peaceful being, a loveful being. So it means all my five qualities are coming in front of me and I have vision of these five qualities in me. That is Swadarshan. My vision my, of myself as a soul or as a shining star with five points. Brahmin means knowledgeable. Brahmin means peaceful. Brahmin means loveful. Brahmin means pure. Brahmin means blissful. And this is what then this brings naturally super sense of joy because it's the qualities are in the soul. So I come back again to the question that Baba says, see yourself by hearing the questions uh, the title was given for today's topic. So see yourself, you are having the super sense of joy, have the intoxication of being very fortunate. So a Brahman, I am fortunate, <laughs> hundred times fortunate, multi-million times fortunate. <laughs> And so this is vision of myself as a Brahmin. Then vision of myself as an angel in the blessing, you see, connected now the beginning and the end. That is a vision of an angel. Through my features, because vision, vision is soul, perhaps others might not have the vision of a soul, but through features they have the vision. So my, so then features means my character and my features, my character will make my features because character creates sanskaras and sanskaras create my features. My action create my features. Eyes filled with love or with the power of purity and eyes filled with hatred. The same eyes but features change. Anger <laughs> will have a different, <laughs> it's same features, but features change. Take the photograph of the same person <laughs> sitting in meditation, contemplation, what features look like? A yogi is, is known through the eyes, from the features is visible. And a person sitting quietly and worried and intention, doing nothing. Just sitting in worry, you can see the features. It's a vision of the state of the mind. And so, it's a vision of myself, what am I? What are my features like? So thoughts and feeling, so then seeing my thoughts, Seeing my feelings, seeing my own attitude, seeing my own vision as an observer with divine intellect. Am I being influenced or am I free? Am I being tied or am I being beyond? Observer or influenced? So I can see myself moving from gross level to the subtle level, so vision of an angel. So Swadarshan of a Brahmin, which is respect worthy, an angel, who makes others worthy and protects others. Not only worthy, but protector as well. Inspire, inspire, one who inspires, inspire. Inspirations is through free, freedom, no? Vision of myself as being a seed. This is again realization. So then am I able to 
put everything, all that expansion, can I withdraw and just become seed again? And that is where Baba says that you can make others worthy and varis because it is forming the relationship with the seed. So in my seed stage, with that vision, I can then see others as soul and seed and connect them with Baba. And so that my vision would be other souls are being connected with Baba. So the eternal and original vision of myself. This is also vision. Being here, seeing myself with Baba, and then the seed. So on one side it is the Pasya, sitting under the Kalpa tree, but connected with the seed in the seed stage, so that other souls can be connected with the seed. Or sitting, today Baba also used the have your vision of yourself as Dilwara temple. In, this is the memorial is here. This Kalpa tree is also a symbol of Dilwara temple. And so am I seated in Tapasya and what is in Dilwara temple? The third eye is opened. Am I being influenced or am I free? Am I being tied or am I being beyond? Observer or influenced? So I can see myself moving from gross level to the subtle level, so vision of an angel. So, Swadarshan of a Brahmin, which is respect worthy, an angel who makes others worthy and protects others. Not only worthy, but protector as well. Inspire, inspire one who inspires, inspire. Inspirations is through free freedom, no? Vision of myself as being a seed. This is again realization. So then am I able to put everything, all that expansion, can I withdraw? just become seed again. And that is where Baba says that you can make others worthy and varis because it is forming the relationship with the seed. So in my seed stage, with that vision, I can then see others as soul and seed and connect them with Baba. And so that my vision would be other souls are being connected with Baba. So the eternal and original vision of myself. This is also vision. Being here, seeing myself with Baba, and then the seed. So on one side it is the Pasya, sitting under the Kalpa tree, but connected with the seed in the seed stage, so that other souls can be connected with the seed. Or sitting, today Baba also used the have your vision of yourself as Dilwara temple. In, this is the memorial is here. This Kalpa tree is also a symbol of Dilwara temple. And so am I seated in Tapasya, and what is in Dilwara temple? The third eye is opened. 
and heart is also it's a if you see the picture it's the the heart is also clean and pure so in my heart is only baba and i am seated on my throne of the self respect i am seated on baba's heart throne and so it is tapasya on one side so this the, the image of the dilwara temple means tapasvi image and then is the deity image of myself vision of the future in the blessing baba said that you can give others the vision of the future through your features and so when i am having my vision of my future deity stage then as whatever i am others will have that reflection that vision from that and so this is what this whole cycle this is then spinning the cycle confluence age as a brahmin then an angel vision then being in the soul world <laughs> coming as a deity <laughs> but not spending time in the copper and iron age <laughs> spinning the cycle does not mean then then here i go through the whole suffering no i am victorious <laughs> so most time is of vision on the self and when you spin when you are spinning fast it looks constant anything when spins very fast that also baba said that this was in a second but then it means that experiencing for a long period of time so it is fast and yet it is steady fast realization quick realization and second is realization and long time experience so this cycle of self realization he also baba spoke about the the meditation of 5 seconds means five stages of the cycle so even with the statue of the deities is giving vision to others and giving satisfaction and so so i bring myself if i see myself in the copper age then baba is using the statue of the deities and so there the deities do not have any desires and they are not aware of being worshiped or they are not aware of they are praised or defamed respect or disrespect somebody is offering a garland or not somebody is offering uh, opening the temple and paying respect and other one is passing through and not not giving respect they are not aware so if i see myself in the copper age am i this time reach that level so that in the copper age baba can use the statue and give the the vision and fulfill the desire of everyone so me say becoming free from desires so it is a spinning again spinning the thought of what state of mind i am now in the one who fulfills the desires of all by being free from desires so there are different aspects of spinning the cycle of self realization self respect self awareness intoxication liberation and then giving vision of baba of our own future of our own divinity
Okay, I think it's now time for Dadiji to come. So maybe if you want to ask any question or you want to say anything by that time, so that is opportunity to share with you certain things. It's very important to see Baba says, reveal, give vision. Give vision means reveal Baba. Reveal your own stage. And if it is not even revealed to me, how can it can be revealed to others? If I only keep one aspect of myself and I'm not spinning, I cannot see myself even. Darshan means when if, if I am seeing my all aspect only, then others are seeing. If I am just keeping only one aspect, others are seeing on one aspect. When I am spinning all, then others are also seeing. If I, the qualities of the divinity are not revealed to my own self, How can others see that from me? The cycle of self, this is the significance, the knowing, the spinning the cycle of self-realization. Baba says that, can you see the deities, can you hear the cries of them? Somebody asked me yesterday, but we don't hear, we can't hear, no? The deities might be crying in the temple, and how can we hear their cries? And I said, we are worthy to be worshipped, and we, Baba says, you were worshippers. Can you see your own worshipper form still crying? Okay, forgetting Others, the cry of others I cannot hear. But do I hear? Am I merciful? Am I affectionate? Am I sympathetic? I am bestower. Am I? Just the cries that my own worshipper form is still crying. Am I able to hear that? and fulfill the liberation, the desire of liberation, or I'm still crying. This is also the meaning, realization. <laughs> if I am not able to hear what is happening here, how can I hear what is happening there? As an observer, see subtle cries that are still for liberation, for purification, for upliftment, for relationship with Baba. Can you hear the call of these? <laughs> that is still devotee form in with us, no? Within our own selves. <laughs> so when I am able to hear and fulfill what the, these deep things are there, then I am able to fulfill outside of others. <laughs> So this is self-realization of my own stage. Then I can, yes, I can fulfill the desires of others when I can fulfill here. So charity begins at home. If I am empty, I cannot fill others. My glass is empty and I want to fill in the glass of others. So impossible. Yeah, questions or comments? Yes? Yes, please. Yeah, can you come on the mic? Om Shanti. My name is Maheshwari. Uh, I wanted to know if you do everything right, self realizes and spin the disc, and uh, um, helping the others to. Sorry, can you speak? I. Perhaps here, yeah, I cannot hear. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Maybe my key is on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, now it's okay. Yeah. All right. Um, what I wanted to know, if you do in this um, 
in this now, if I do self, uh, self realization and helping others to spin the disc as well and helping others, if you do everything right now, when you come to the corporate, will, we, will you be not suffering? You know, the corporate and Iron Age is the one you enjoy and suffering as well. Can you reduce? Suffering. Okay, no. Yeah, of course. As much powerful you become now, yes. that much stage is going through the whole cycle. When you are becoming uh, is complete, the golden aged, this, what, this was the question of Baba's. It is easy to prepare the subjects make the effort to prepare the heirs. That was today's Murlith. So realize, do I realize? So when I am preparing the heirs, so it means I am heir. So my level, that of the, the stage of the golden age, would be diamond, would be higher, right? So when I am coming in the copper age, still my stage is higher, no? Let me give the example. If you wear a cloth which is called velvet, no? And then you also buy a cloth which is cotton. Then you buy a cloth which is very thin uh, cotton, mal mal, which is called, right? Ordinary cloth. Now, if I have a vol velvet cloth, curtain or dress, I can wash it 20 times or 30 times. Even then, after 30 times, it is strong, it is still shining. It is called old, but it has the strength. My cotton ordinary material after two wash is gone. So when I am in, from the golden age, I am starting the stage of the divinity, of perfect purity. So I am reducing the degree very percentage-wise less. So I do not suffer. In the copper, but if from the very beginning I have very small stage, so certainly percentage is I'm losing more and more, and I don't have strength in the copper and iron age. It's the, through the yoga power, my discus of self-realization works. We can spin, we have the knowledge, it's, you need the knowledge to spin the cycle. You have the realization through yoga. When yoga becomes the power, you are able to liberate yourself. So it is, this is, this is what I meant, that through knowledge, who I am, where I come from, what I was in the beginning, I was that worthy to be worshipped. So then, when I am remembering this, I am creating the thoughts of what Baba makes me. Then having yoga with Baba, the power is filled in the soul. And that experience that I have brings me realization of what I was and what I'm becoming. So yoga power brings experience and experience brings realization. And so this is what it is called spinning the cycle of the self-realization. And this realization of contrast what I had become what I was, what I had become, and what I am now, and what I will become. So it is four aspects of time that helps to be free. So yoga power is the power which liberates me, but I can spin. So knowledge helps us to spin, but that is not called the spinning of the cycle of self-realization, that would be called churning. So with the knowledge you can churn, with yoga you experience and realize yourself. And when you realize that inculcation becomes the power, it becomes weapon, virtue becomes weapon to liberate us from the negativity. And this is why it has been shown as an ornament of Vishnu as well as weapon. It becomes two. So yoga becomes mace, it's a power. With yoga is you can liberate yourself. Yes, one more question. Last. Uh, 
Okay, so thanks. No question, Dadiji is also here. So very soon she will be coming. Mm -hmm.